Hey, Adam, how's it going, man? So I'm going to go ahead and just get this set up in our in our system. Um, I found a keyword. Let's see. It's like how to grow, how to grow your Amazon business. Um, and so we'll just, let's see here. So what is it? Ecom 3K. Pop your URL here. And then it's like... Let's see. Just, what this does is kind of just gives it some some additional context um, for you know the content that's going to be created within here. Uh, this is just you know whatever. Um, if this was like an ongoing client of yours or or you know a project for your content team, like these are the target word counts every month that'll kind of renew and. Um, you know, you'll see like progress bar on the project card. Anyway, so add myself here. And then what we'll do, so we just come add content, right? So uh, what was it? So, just looking at a SEM rush here. So this gets 250 searches. Difficulty on this is only 40. Um, go Amazon business. Check this to just instead of adding it to a keyword list, it's going to just start creating it. And so now what's going to happen is it'll take about five minutes. So um, I'll probably just pause this, I guess, for right now. I'll come back before it's done so we could kind of just we'll be surprised together. I guess we'll, we'll open up uh, the piece of content and see what it looks like, um, you know, for the first time, just just live. Right. So I'll. I'll unpause this before it gets to that point but um you know I'll, I'll save you the uh the waiting of like five minutes now what's cool too is if yeah this takes like five minutes for this post but then if you did like 20 at once like all of them would be done in like eight minutes because everything starts running in parallel uh so it can really you know move pretty fast in that way but anyways i'll, I'll be back in a few minutes all right man so it's still so it's pinning optimization. I can't access this yet um, because it's still doing a like a semantic analysis. Uh, so I'll just kind of share like what's happening. So basically, you know, a lot of these AI writer tools, right? You you have to supply it the information, um, and then you've got to kind of go paragraph by par even sentence by sentence to really like get what you know any sort of direction there. Because essentially, all it is is a it's a layer on top of GPT-3, right? Whereas what we're doing is, I mean, we're, we're incorporating three different AI engines. There's a whole natural language processing algorithm, a semantic analysis, which is doing now. So there, there's just so much happening here to be able to go and put an entire blog post together just based on a keyword. And so uh, that's, what it's, that's what it's attempting to do here. Um, still, still doing that. So, it's going to create a title for us, a meta description for us. Uh, the you know it's going to start put the introduction together. It's going to have a table of contents as well, which is really cool. That hyperlinks down to that section. So the table of contents is nice because it's a helpful component for um, for readers. And so Google's putting an emphasis on on helpful content now. And so when someone can go and they see what the post is going to be about, and maybe there's a specific thing that they're looking for, they click that link scrolls down to that section, right? Well, what's happening there is it's actually sending engagement metrics to Google. And it's like, okay, they're actually engaging with this content. They're scrolling down on the content, uh, you know, further things like time on site matter, right? So all of this helps like from a, from a helpfulness standpoint, which helps you in the rankings as well. Um, so it's doing that. Uh, we're pulling in like related questions that are there like in Google. And so there's a lot happening, right? When, it, when it's putting this all together. Uh, let's see if we're ready yet. Okay, here we are. So we're gonna we're gonna see this live here. Okay, awesome. So then we've got our intro. We've got the table of contents here. So I'm just gonna kind of cover what's going on. All right. So we have the title, the URL slug, which is basically just the primary keyword. That's that's the best SEO practice. Uh, as a reminder here, that it's the primary keyword, and then also the um, the meta description. 
All right, so it's using natural language processing and, and all kinds of evaluations here to give us recommendations. So we're actually like way ahead of where we need. So this is an 1800 word blog post, right? I just entered a keyword, got an 1800 word blog post back, which is awesome. Um, over here, it uses natural language processing to identify uh, words and phrases that um, seem like it would be important based on what's ranking. Okay, so from an optimization standpoint, you might want to look at this. We have a whole checklist here, and this is something like our writing team goes through and, and make sure is, is all ready. But um, as you can see, a lot of this is already checked off just out of the gate, right? So um, the title's there, it has the keyword, the meta description's the right length. It does not have the keyword. So like this would be something you want to come in and just be like, um, you know, maybe it's like looking... All right, just like that. All right, it's done. I would even say, like, you might view. So, you know, like, this is the process, like, that we would go through from, a, from an editing standpoint. Um, Anyway, so let's let's get into the content. So we can see all of, all of this was generated. Um, so here we go. All right. Uh, let's see. You need it. Optimize your listings, manage your inventory. I mean, you know, like there's a lot going on here. So, like, even so, this is an H2, right? But this is naturally an H3, right? H3 here under the H2s. These are the related questions I was telling you about. And then what's also cool so, um, we, we generate a whole like conclusion um, call to action as well that kind of ties in the primary keyword, um, ties in what you guys offer, right? Links to your, your homepage. So there's like a, you know, CTA there for every post. Um, I mean, realistically, like, so you could go into this uh, obviously as much as you want to, but I mean, almost out of the gate, right? Like this is pretty close to publish ready. Um, some things I would do from an optimization standpoint, right? I would kind of fill this in, just make sure we have all of these checks in place. Um, you know, I'd reference the keyword phrase a little more. Um, you know, hopefully these tips. All right, like just add that, right? Now we've got it after the last subheading. I've got another reference of it here. Um, and so this is kind of recommending nine times to get that placed, right? Um, and so now if I refresh, you see it here after the last subheading, I've got four times here. Then what's kind of cool too, so with this, you can actually go to the brief tab and what's happened is we pull in what's ranking on the top couple of pages. We, we, we like prevent things from, you know, Wikipedia and, and like facebook.com and, you know, stuff like that. But like other, you know, other contents in here. And so, um, you know, maybe we wanted to add that or, um, let's see here. Go off Amazon. This could maybe tie into what you're offering a little better, right? So I could, so let's see. Maybe here. Um, we'll see what the AI comes up with this, right? So this will add, um, add this to the content, right? And so it's gonna, it's gonna kind of take some context uh, use what's already there and, and build a, um, a new section, right? So let 
we go. All right, so we just added that to it. Um, I'd probably not use it like as a subheading, but more so as a bullet list. All right. Um, or maybe even, I guess, since it's numbered, but we'll just delete these. So most of the time, it'll it'll do that properly. Oops. And so, um, actually, this was capitalized. All right. So there you go. There's your there's your editing, right? Um, but now we've got this new section in here. And so if I save this, I mean, we're getting close to almost two thousand words on this thing. Yeah, 2073. I mean, this is a meaty post now, right? Uh, much longer than we needed it, which is great. Um, you know, I mean, this is all just literally, I, I inserted a keyword, right? Set up the project initially, of course, but, you know, just, just inserted a keyword and I've got this content. And so, anyways, hopefully this helps show you, like, how you can scale this up and, and start really producing some high quality, long form content. And ultimately, you start ranking for, for more and more keywords because you're able to just produce so much more content, right? So anyways, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Cheers.